Okay, welcome to this uh, next video on algebra, and this one's going to be looking at evaluating expressions and equivalent expressions. Okay, and so your learning goal for this one is that students evaluate algebraic expressions using numerical substitution. Okay, and you'll be able to, at the end of this, substitute given values into an expression and evaluate some given expression. Okay, right, a number by any other name would smell as sweet. You can just imagine uh, Juliet shouting that from the balcony at uh, her numerically amazing uh, boyfriend. And uh, you can imagine him busting out some awesome algebra in return with that idea that, remember, our variable, for example, x, just stands in for some other number. Just stands in. For a number. Okay? Now, don't be worried about it. Be scared about it. It's just, just some letter, and it just means some number that we don't always know, but we can just put any number in there if we want to as well. And that idea is called substitution. Okay? And so when we're asked to evaluate something, you're going to see what's sort of happening there. So x just stands in for a number, so we can say, ah, look, let's just make x equal 3. Okay? Well, that means we we replace all that all that x's are now threes, and that's okay. Or or if we didn't like that, we could have made x equal twenty three thousand seven hundred sixty two point five. It doesn't really matter. Whatever we needed it to be, it we can uh, we can make it that way. Okay, that's all our variables are. And now we're about to see what happens when we chuck the number in there. Okay, a couple of key ideas for us here. So we evaluate, that's one of the new words, so we evaluate an expression by substituting, which is just kind of replacing, the given values for each variable, okay? So for example, if we had, uh, so as I said before, if we had 4x uh, plus 2, we're going to say now x is equal to 3, like we said before. Let's just make it 5. I don't want you to get confused that x is always 3. So x is now 5. Uh, and then what that means is we're just going to replace that value inside this equation uh, expression I've got here. Okay, so we write down the 4. Wherever there's an x, we replace it with this 5. Now I'm going to put it in brackets, and you'll see why in a moment. Okay, 4 plus 2. Okay, now remember, if there's nothing inside here, in this little spot here, what does that mean? It means there is a hidden little multiplication symbol in there, okay? So we would be able to evaluate that by, in that evaluate just means to work the numbers out. So that's 4 times 5 is 20, plus 2, 20 plus 2 is 22. Now see how I'm working down the page here? That's, that's how I want you to get used to, working your algebra down the page. Uh, it's a lot more logical and you kind of see it. I want to see it moving across the page, all right? Okay, when you are substituting numbers in, using brackets will avoid confusion. I'm about to show you why. If we had uh, x squared, okay, remember that just the same as x times x, but if, and not, we're gonna say now that x is equal to negative two. That brings, brings out some problems because if you don't use brackets and you just go, right, x squared, so that means negative two squared, because I've just replaced the x with the negative two. This becomes a problem because if you just type this in your calculator, it's going to give you that being equal to negative four, okay, but it's not, okay, because two times two is four and it just chucks that negative out the front of it. Okay, whereas what's actually happening here is if we use brackets to replace the, the uh, variable, then we're going to have instead negative 2 squared outside, which means negative 2 times negative 2, which is actually 4. Okay, so something you'll learn later on that negatives multiplied together become a positive. Okay, so it's really important that you uh, use brackets, I think. Okay, uh, now we test for equivalent expressions. So to see whether two expressions are the same or not, we just substitute the using the same values. Okay, and you'll see what that means a little bit later on when we have a look at, at some examples. Okay, 
All right, let's have a look at some worked examples that are typical of stuff you might see. So this first one here, evaluate 10x minus 5, where x equals 7. Okay, so that means I've got this expression here, 10x minus 5. So it's always a good idea to write it out yourself first. So 10x minus 5. I'm going to replace the x with 7. So I've got 10, going to put the 7 inside brackets, minus 5. So remember, this means 10 times 7, which is 70, minus 5, which is 65. Done. Moving down the page, down the page nicely, okay? Right, evaluate x over 2 plus 4, where x is equal to 5. I'm going to give myself a little bit more room here. Okay, a little, a different way you're, you're, I'm going to let you do this. I'll show you a different way. So if I have x over 2 plus 4, okay, but now x is going to equal 5. So I've put the equal sign here. I want you to watch where I go with this. Okay, so now, remember, x is now 5, so I'm going to put 5 in brackets at the top there, over 2 plus 4. Okay, but once I've moved over this way, I'm still going to keep moving down, keeping my equal signs above each other. Right, 5 divided by 2 is 2.5 plus 4, is 6.5. Okay, so see how my equal signs have stayed nicely uh, vertical there. Okay, so it's very important for you to do that. Keeps everything nice and neat, helps you sort of think about what's going on. All right, uh, here's another one here, a little bit larger for us. So evaluate this expression here 80 minus 2xy plus y for x is 4 and y is 7. Okay, so let's sort of look at how that's going to go. Okay, let's rewrite it for ourselves. 80 minus 2xy plus y, uh, where x is 4 now and y is 7. So I'm just going to work down the page of this one. I'm happy to do that rather than move across. And you'll, and you'll see why I think this is a good idea for evaluating expressions because it's, it's a lot easier to keep track of what is supposed to be there, what you're supposed to have replaced and things. Okay. So 80, well, 80 doesn't change, so 80 is going to stay there. 80 minus, right, keep our brackets for now, 2, ah, uh -huh, here's our x. So x gets replaced with 4, y gets replaced with 7, plus y is 7, okay? Now, 80 minus, okay, let's, now we use our order of operations, okay? So I'm just going to write off the side here, remember, use, use, order of operations okay to work these things out all right now you might be allowed to use calculators for these as well uh, just double check with that and um, obviously then as long as you write everything out correctly and use your brackets and stuff well your calculator is just going to smash it out for you because this sort of stuff's just that busy work that is not really what we're interested in making sure that you're able to do all right so 2 times 4 is 8 times 7 is 56 plus 7, okay, so 56 and 7 is uh, 63, and then I've got 80 minus 63, which is 17, okay, so there's our expression there, see so it gets smaller and smaller and smaller, down to we're just left with one number, all right, which of these expressions are equivalent, all right, so we have 3x plus 4, 8 minus x, and 2x plus 4 plus x. So how do we tell? Remember I said above, to see if some expressions are equivalent, you just substitute the same number. So we're going to write off to the side here, let x equal 2, okay? You can make x equal 1, okay? You could, you could make x equal 0 if you wanted to and see, see how that worked. Okay, we're going to go with x equals 2, pretty easy. All right, so our first expression goes to 3 times 2 plus 4, 6 plus 4 is 10. Our second one here, uh, I'll write it again, 8 minus x, so that gets to 8 minus 2, 8 minus 2 is 6. And our last one here, 2x plus 4 plus x. So we've got 2 times 2 plus 4 plus 2, so that's 4 plus 4 plus 2. 4 and 4 is 8, plus 2 is 10. So this one here and this one here. No, what am I doing? That one, the first one and the last one are our two equivalent expressions. Okay, 
So hopefully you've seen a good some stuff about what our algebra means, what those sort of letters kind of mean, and how we're going to use them, how we can modify our expressions and things. And uh, make sure you're getting a lot of chance to do a lot of practice because that's the key thing with algebra. Okay, uh, the more you use the tools, the more you get used to it, the better you're going to be, and the less uh, of concern it's going to be when you have to come to use this stuff. Okay, thanks for watching.